What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 4 video here for you guys on the channel. So, this video is probably going to be shorter than most of the videos here on my channel. Mainly because I'm basically just going to be doing a quick errands uh, for this... Uh, for the Brotherhood of Steel, basically I need to get the network scanner from Sturgis as you see him walking behind me right now. And then we have to go back to the Institute and talk to Madison Lee again. Uh, and convince her to go back to the Brotherhood. So, those are the two things we're basically going to be aiming to do right here in this video. So, if you're excited for that, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Alright, let's go ahead and catch up to Sturgis before he actually takes off too far. Sturgis, remember that holotape with all the Institute data? I need it back. Oh yeah? Why? What have you got cooking? Uh, food. No, the Brotherhood of Steel, man. I'm working on something with the Brotherhood of Steel. They want to look at the data I got from the Institute. Come back here! Sturgis, remember that holotape with all the Institute data? I need it back. Oh yeah? I gotta skip this dialogue because he's gonna I'm walk away again. With the Brotherhood of Steel. No, come on. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate because I really wanted to hear it, but oh well. All right, let's go. Okay, back to Proctor Quinlan. Luckily for us, is at the Boston Airport. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It's been it has done that for as long as I've ever tried that portion of the mission. For some reason, it just kind of. Like blows like he just walks away for some reason. It's kind of strange how that happens, but it is what it is So luckily for us though um, It's gonna be pretty quick in my opinion the, the things that we have to do. We're pretty much already done with this portion. Because we're doing two missions uh, in this video. This one obviously is with uh, this hollow tape, And we're already done because we just have to give it to Proctor Quinlan. Or Ingram, excuse me. Proctor, I came across a hollow tape with a full scan of the Institute's network. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much the shit. I wasn't worried. After all, I built the device myself. I have confidence in everything I built, too. But that's because I'll only deal with technology that I understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Good, me too. Uh, hopefully it reveals a weakness of some sort. Hopefully it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, your mission to recruit Dr. Lee still needs to be completed. I believe Elder Maxon gave you all of the details? Yep. Good luck, Knight. Cool. Too easy. So there's that. That was the easy portion. Now we gotta go back. Let's activate this. And then let's go back to the Institute. Because we gotta talk to Madison Lee. This is where it gets hard. So uh, between this video and the last video, I grinded for about an hour and leveled up twice. Uh, so I, now I'm level 77. And I did level up my charisma the last two final uh charisma points if you will so that i can finally you know uh have 10 charisma and i can pass all the speech checks so that's a good thing uh which way is it it's not robotics why am i in here i wouldn't be here i want to say it's advanced systems what are you going to tell me about well yeah i mean i could guess i could have just followed the Map marker, huh? <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's go. Madison Lee, I need to talk to you. Hey. Excuse me, Dr. Lee? You again. What do you want now? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to be a dick. 
But hey, uh, I was sent here by the fire uh, by the fireworks. What am I talking about? By the Brotherhood. I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush. I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Kill you? No, we're here on good intentions, man. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word? Even though we just met? Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Good! I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Uh... Are you happy here? Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? Uh, well, I'm just here because uh, the Brotherhood needs your help, man. The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. Uh, no, they value you, man. The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Uh... I mean, can you trust me? Father trusts me. And so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. Touche. I need more than that. Uh, I mean, we don't lie. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I like? don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Oh god, let's go ahead and quick save one more time, because uh, we're trying to free the commonwealth. Your work could be instrumental in freeing the commonwealth. <sighs> you really know how to push my Yay. buttons, don't you? You know, I never understood why the Institute was so damn selfish. All those innocent people up there, dying. And here I am, surrounded by technology that could make their lives better. Yet we hide down here and insulate ourselves from everything and everyone. It's not right. It's not right. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Oh, snap. That was easy enough, though. Our report to Elder Maxon. And now we gotta fast travel once again all the way back to the Pridwin. Not too bad, I suppose. Just gotta wait through a 95 hour freaking loaded screen though. Unfortunately. See what I mean? Takes forever. I don't know why. Fallout 4 is terrible in this way. Any minute now, Fallout. Waiting on you, bro. Maxon's gonna be happy. Like, super happy. If you're happy and you know it, you know, clap your hands. Have you guys done, uh... You have a moment. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Hold up. Yeah, of course. What's up, man? Of course. What's on your mind? Thank you. This isn't a formal meeting. I simply want to clear the air. I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot when we first met. And I feel like I owe you an apology. Expecting you to embrace the standards of the Brotherhood without having a history with us was unfair. And given that you've adjusted so well to our beliefs, I don't think I needed to push so hard. Uh, are you uh, sure that's the, uh, are you worried that, uh, worried that I'm quitting? You worried that I'm going to quit? No, 
I just felt it was the right thing to do. When I was an initiate, my sponsor was Paladin Creed, the toughest squad leader I ever served with. He was a model soldier, embodying the values every trainee was striving to achieve. Fiercely loyal, secure in his beliefs, and brave to a fault. From the moment I was assigned to his squad, I was singled out. It felt like he was pushing me harder than the rest of the team. I fought by his side for years, and we had some seriously close calls. But he never explained to me why I was treated that way. Uh, I mean, he was probably motivating you, man. It sounds like he was trying to motivate you. If he was, I never got a chance to ask. After I was promoted to Paladin, and I'd moved on to my own squad, I received word that Creed was killed at Adams Air Force Base. Damn. The news was like being kicked in the stomach. I mean, I'd lost some of my brothers and sisters before, but his death... Well, it really got to me. It's taken me a long time to realize it. But the reason Krieg was so tough on me is the same reason I'm so tough on you. It's because I believe in you. And I don't want to see any of your potential go to waste. Uh, Adams Air Force Base? What happened at Adams Air Force Base? Back in the capital wasteland. The Brotherhood was at war with a traitorous group of rebels who called themselves the Enclave. They maintained a mobile command post at the remains of Adams yep. Air Force Base, just outside of Washington, D.C. The, the Brotherhood spearheaded an assault on the command post, which was ultimately successful, but costly. Quite a few soldiers died in that battle, and Paladin Creed was among them. He made his mark on history, and whether you choose to believe it or not, you have the potential to do the same. Thank you, man. I'm flattered. I'm flattered that you have so much faith in me. You've earned that faith by your own hand. Well, I've said what I had to say, and I hope that it meant something to you. It did, I actually. trust you'll keep this in confidence, of course. Some of that information was of a personal nature. And, I got you, well, man. I'd like to keep it that way. No worries. Good talk, buddy. Let's go. We gotta talk to your boss now. Technically our boss since I'm a part of the Brotherhood now, of course. Elder Maxin, I have to tell you something in regards to Madison Lee. I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? Uh, I think she'll be on our side, man. I've convinced her that the Institute is the enemy, not the Brotherhood. Well done, Knight. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives... We'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade. And we can't afford to take any chances. Now, on to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. She has a special project that requires your immediate attention. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. Cool. All right, let's go talk to, uh, what's her name again? Proctor Ingram. She's literally just downstairs, basically, over there at the, uh, Boston Airport. So it shouldn't be too bad. I just can't remember which, uh, I think this is the one where we potentially get sent to the glowing sea. I, I can't remember though. If you say so, Liberty Reprime, speak to Pro Proctor Ingram. Will do. Yeah, she's over there at the Boston airport. I'm pretty sure this is the one where we get sent to the glowing sea though. Pretty sure. If <laughs> it loads quickly, of course. Oh, wait, you know what? Um, have we... We haven't went to the Glowing Sea and gave Virgil the uh, serum yet, have we? I don't think we did. Definitely need to do that, though. Like, soon. Oh, 
OMG, are you gonna load? There we go. Proctor Ingram, I'm coming. Hello. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about? Uh. It's secret? Why all the secrecy? We're pouring every resource we have into this thing. We can't risk tipping off the Institute. For now, the fewer people that know about it, the better. Come on, it's this way. Sure, just tell me too. And I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kelvs have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. Uh-huh. Care to elaborate a little? Gasp! This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon. I remember. Twice. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. Yeah, that sounds pretty difficult. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. Yeah, of course. No problem. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. <laughs> I wish I had your confidence. Because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Um... Power problems? Why is the power blowing out his CPU? Liberty Prime has a highly complex power system. A good deal of that system was damaged when he exploded. So I'm working in the dark trying to come up with parts on my own. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Okay. Uh, oh, she's way up there. I really don't want to go back up there. We're actually going to call it a video right here right now, guys. Like I said, this video was just meant to be really quick. Doing some quick errands and stuff like that. In the next video, we're going to go back to normal with the Fallout 4 uh, content as far as uh, like the, the length of the videos goes. Uh, this one was short on purpose, mainly because I kind of, you know, wanted to get these little short pieces out of the way so that we can actually focus on the big story missions in the next video. So if you enjoyed this video though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.